Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm continuing the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus series. If you've missed any of the videos, the link is always in the description. You can check them all out for yourself. Now today's video is one of the coolest tips I've brought to the channel in a long time and it involves Siri and your iOS device. Basically, it's going to allow Siri to read pretty much anything that appears on your phone to you. Let's get started. All right, so to kick things off, we'll open up the settings application and what you wanna do is make sure Siri is on. So tap on general and then tap Siri and ensure that you have Siri enabled. Once you've done that, go back to the general section and then tap on accessibility. And then from here, what we'll do is tap on speech and then we will go ahead and enable speak screen. Now from here, you'll be greeted with some settings. They're pretty straightforward. So your speaking rate, the voices, the highlighted content. So if you want it to highlight the content as she reads it, and if you want the speaking rate to be faster or slower, you can go through these and customize it for yourself. But this is how I leave it. And we'll go ahead and take a look and a listen to how this actually works. So let's say I wanted to read this article here about Martin Brodeur, a hockey player who recently retired. I can basically just swipe down from the top with two fingers and Siri will begin reading the article. Now this will work with emails, with pretty much anything that has written content in it and she'll go ahead and read it. So I'm going to swipe down and you'll be able to listen to her read this article. Presented by what made Martin Brodeur play too long is also what made him great. Justin Horn, January 29, 2015. 10.44 a.m. It was time for Martin Brodeur to go. Even his biggest fans would have to acknowledge that. So there you have it. She speaks what is on screen and you have the settings here. You can actually slow it down. You can speed it up. You can fast forward. You can play, pause, different things like that. And just to show you, we'll actually open up Twitter as well. Let me just close that for a second. We'll open up Twitter and you can see that she'll read, say, a Twitter tweet and uh, you'll be able to do that as well. So let's say I wanted this tweet read to me and the article underneath. So we'll go ahead and swipe down. Toronto Mass City News. Verify. Hashtag Toronto. Parts of GTA under special weather statement for snow. City News says when snow is starting late this afternoon. So there you go. It works just as good. And this is awesome for, let's say, if you're in the car and you have your phone kind of hooked up to your radio or whatever, and you can have your emails being read to you as you drive. And I actually didn't know that this existed until one of my viewers actually pointed this out to me. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful and you're feeling awesome, share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or your favorite social media site. It really helps out my channel. Also, hit that like button to let me know you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment box down below. I respond to every question and comment that comes my way, and I'll definitely be able to help you out. Also, if you're interested in more iPhone tips and tricks, I have a full series in the description down below. You can click the link and watch all the videos with tons of tips, tricks, and full tutorials on how to use the iPhone and get the most out of it. Lastly, if you want to be notified of new videos and when I post them, subscribe to the channel and it'll let you know when a new video is live. Thanks again. I will see you in the next one.